Welcome to Pass the Mic. Today we're exploring into the wonderful world of relationships. Everything in life is that. And I have the most amazing woman with me to take this journey. I want each and every one of you to say hello to Marquita Pierre McAllister. <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> Love Her name is this long. She's this big. <laughs> Okay, so I don't quite fit my name. <laughs> <laughs> and she just informed me that she's French. I love it. That's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. I'm from New Orleans, you know. Oh, oh yeah. got it going on, yeah. got it going on. <laughs> We've got so much to get into. What's our song today? Um, we Come Together by Eddie Watkins. We yeah. Come Together. Hey, Eddie, if you ever hear this, you know I love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, we come, come together. together. We come together. We come together in the name of love. Mm -hmm. We come together. Yes, we do. We come together. Mm -hmm. We come together in the name of love. What a great way to start the show. <laughs> because we are one. We hold a vision. We are creating our here and now. Mm -hmm. Just Marquita and me. Just you and me. Marquita, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> this, is, this is fun. <laughs> We've got a lot to talk about. You work with relationships. I you do. Know, so, you know, a lot of people work with relationships. That's true. How are you doing it? How are your thing doing it? Well, you know, it stems from the fact that I do have a spiritual center. Okay. Right? And so I counsel a lot of people. That's, that's what I get to do. But it also stems from um, me growing up as a little girl and, and how, you know, we all have that story. Oh, well, well, I got <laughs> some stories. <laughs> we all, and we all have stories with our families of origin. Yes. Oh, we got some stories. Yes, yes. Right. Yes, and yes. then we have these relationships. I personally have had, you know, my fair share of long term relationships. Mm -hmm. And what I what I realized in my counseling is that people, many people don't actually learn from the relationship. That we blame the person that we're divorcing and getting rid of or whatever. It's because it's, it's always they fault, <laughs> right? And I kept, I'm listening. I'm going. This is so interesting. But what I wasn't hearing was, and what I learned from it was, okay. and how I how it shifted me and changed me, and made me grow. And I thought, okay, what's going on here? Ah. Because I personally, from literally my very first divorce. I was very, very clear. Okay, look, I'm about to learn because I'm not repeating this. Okay? <laughs> and I so, told you she was brilliant. She's well, one you of know, the smart it's ones. It's really important. And then to, so here's what happens. You go into the next relationship. Now for me, I would apply some things. Yes. And one of the main things was I was growing little children then. Okay. So one of the things I made sure I didn't do was talk negative about uh -huh. him in front of those babies. Can you say that again? <laughs> I mean, I just want people to get, and I, you know, we're, we're hurt a lot of times uh, when the relationship has been dissolved or the way the relationship was right. dissolved. Right. And when people have kids, they take that child and make it a, a, a centerpiece for a game. Well, sometimes I'm not so sure they're conscious that, conscious that they're doing this. I would agree. Because here's what happens. You know, you're talking to your girlfriend. It's about that dinner time. You didn't, you're making the dinner for the children. The children are running around doing whatever they're doing. And you're talking to your girlfriend and you're talking about him. Right? I, and it's negative, right? She likes to just say not, they don't know. I know somebody <laughs> know. <laughs> okay, some of them do know. It's true. It's true. They be talking to the baby. What's your daddy do? <laughs> oh, see, and that is like, do not, please, people do not do that. Yeah. The children are, are they love their mom and their yes. dad. I don't care what happened. They love their mom and their dad. And as soon as you talk negatively about the other one, you tear up their heart. You do. Immediately you, you tear do. up. Because now they don't know what to do. They don't. They want to you, love them both. You create conflict in the child. You do. Every single time. You so that I'd see that, and then I would see the carry-on, and I, I'm thinking about a particular story, but anyway, I'd see the carry-on of the relationship ended three years ago, and they still talking about so-and-so, <laughs> and I'm thinking, and the, and the venom, yes. sometimes that comes out of the anger, and I'm yes. thinking that was three years ago, and what I didn't, I thought, interesting that you were so angry at the person that you used to love. Mm. How does that happen? Exactly. I get that we're different. I get that we may not agree. Okay. And I get that we need to separate. I yes. get that. 
but to carry the venom and the negativity because hey, they Trish. hurt you. She's so sweet. Hey, Trash. <laughs> Hide us. <laughs> Hate us. Right? You're going to carry that. No, wait a minute. Here's what trips me out. And I do tell people this. Look, you carrying this thing three years, that person ain't thinking about you. They got, <laughs> they got a new person. <laughs> they got a new person. They got two new people. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are letting them take up rent up in your mind. I love For rent. rent. Up in your mind. For free. For free. They ain't and blaming that. them. Blaming them. You which know. hurts your physiology. It does. Which it hurts does. your physiology. Not theirs. Oh, they, no, no. They, no, no. They're not no, hearing no. what you're saying. No. Right? So, Nor do they care. No, they don't care. Nor do they care. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the things that I think people also need to talk about in relationships, because this is, your, this is part of your company. That's right. And what is the name of the company? Marquita's Motivation. It's really the, the overall motivation. is Marquita Enterprises, but you'll see me off on YouTube and stuff as Marquita's Motivation. How beautiful. Marquita's well, yeah. the connect, yeah. you know. And it, because I also teach meditation, there are oh, other things beautiful. that I do. So we thought, beautiful. okay, you should be under Enterprises. But I love this started out as Marquita's Motivation from when my father died. Oh. He was a person that inspired me when it came to moving into the spiritual practices. And really? All that. Yeah. So, so it, it really started back then. Yeah. Yes. And I'm just now really starting to do some things with it because I'm done with people talking negatively to their children. Mm. I'm done with people talking negatively about their exes. Yes. yes. I'm done with people hurting themselves because they don't understand when you carry negativity about anyone, you are hurting you, not them. No. You're, you're and I'm just done. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> done. You're over it. You're over <laughs> over it. it. Can we please wake up and become very conscious of what's coming out of our mouth and what we're holding in our heart and learn to actually love instead of lip sync, exactly. lip, lip talk, exactly. love, okay? So that we can empower and now the greatness that's actually within us can actually come out. Can come out. But as long as you're holding something against somebody else, especially them exes, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you limit yourself. Let me ask you this because I'm a person that I believe that every relationship is a teacher. Oh, absolutely. They teach us. Oh. And so even in love relationships, I know in our society, married, stay married forever. I don't believe that. Yeah. Yeah, we grow too much now. <laughs> I, you know, I just think that some relationships, even if you get married, they're not meant to last for an eternity. Yeah, many, many of them are not. Or if they do, I, here's my question, and I okay. don't know the answers to this, so I'm just talking. All right, come on. My question is the ones... Let me, no, let me reframe. Here's what I want to say. The ones that I personally knew, grew up with, what have you, yeah. that lasted forever, Yes. 90% of the people were not happy at all in them. At all. <laughs> I only have one that I actually know of that was literally happy. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I only know one. Okay. <laughs> So, and I think there's just, and this, it's not bad if you stay with the person forever, but my question is, well, you know, I believe in spirit, okay? So, yes. And so, in believing in God, spirit, whatever name you want to have for the creator, you're here to fulfill a purpose. You're here to do something. We're to do that magically and mystically, right? Yeah. And in that, we are expanding in consciousness. So we're growing, shifting, yes. right? Constantly. The person that you're with may also be growing, but probably they have another purpose on the planet. Not just, and I think back in the day it was so that we love each other and that was the only purpose. Oh no, those <laughs> days are over. <laughs> we got much more to do on the planet yes. to um, uplift the vibration on the planet, yes. right? So my question is, the people who stay together forever, are you really being your full self the entire time, year, decades after decades? Or have you acquiesced? Something? That's a good question. It's a question. That's I a don't know the question. answer. I'm just real. And, like and it's not to say that, you know, those of you that are in a happy relationship, as I say, I, I believe all relationships are teachers. And if the relationship brings forth food for you mm -hmm. to teach you, to grow you to the next level, why hate the messenger? Yeah. Yeah. Why hate the messenger? We both have been on that end. Sometimes we're the deliverer of the bad news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the news is, look, I need to do something different. Or you're receiving it. It's time to rethink, and I love your enterprise of really working with people, getting to a place for them to hear 
how they're participating. Yes. Because that's important. Absolutely. It's never just the other person's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how rotten they may be, okay? You, mean it's, you can't just blame it all on the well, other this, person. This is what I told, I, and I t- do tend to people, I want you to go back and remember you chose them. Uh. Okay? Wherever you were in consciousness, okay, that made that they were so great. That's about you. That's exactly. You chose them, okay? Exactly. Think about exactly. that. Exactly. They didn't force themselves upon you. No. No. You wanted that. And the reason you wanted that is because your soul was calling to grow. Yes. That's why you're in a relationship. I have to tell people all the time. I know it looks like the goo gaga love and the ooh and the what for I love them so much. That's not what relationships are. <laughs> no. That's not what they're for. No. They're no, for your I mean, growth. Yeah. Yeah. So again, I'm just like, please don't hate the messenger when that time is over. Okay? <laughs> just don't do that. You're the one who picked them in the first place. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so I I want to go back a little bit with you because okay. You talked about spirituality and loving God and being in that presence. To add to her name, you're also a minister, correct? I am. I am. And what are, where is your center? So I'm the senior minister and founder because uh, we grew it from the bottom up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from this, I, we are at the Center for Spiritual Living, Southern Nevada. So we're located oh. in Las Vegas. Okay. And we are the newest, uh, there's three centers here, and we are the newest one because okay. we grew from the ground up. And we started in a casino. Ooh, <laughs> what? Say what? Spirit in the women, but spirit ruling, lucky number seven. <laughs> it was a beautiful space, but that's where it it, deve- it came, you know, it's like, oh, you're supposed to be that. here. It was beautiful because it was very colorful and dynamic, and it's it was in a casino. Good music. Oh, they play some good music, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then we, you know, it only took a few months, and then yeah. we moved on from there. But yeah, and so we are now approaching our fifth year. Oh, congratulations! Let's give some love for that. We will have the links below, below, below for everything. Where, where are you? Well, I teach meditation. Woman, and I so, teach meditation. So well, that's what type of meditation happens. do you teach? I teach a few, but I mean, silence. I'm really okay. into silence because okay. my belief is all that we need is right in here. But you got to be silent enough to hear it, right? So, you know, you can be guided by music and all that into yeah. that space, but when you're done doing your guided meditation, be quiet. Silence is not silent, by the way. There's so much in us, and yeah. for me and many others that I teach, then the answers come. You know, I this is so fabulous because meditation sometimes gets a, a, a bad rap. Yeah. Um, I remember the very first time, which was years ago now, that this is what I was so just let your mind go blank and, <laughs> and you know my mind was busy. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I was cussing them out, <laughs> cussing my mind out because it couldn't get quiet from cussing yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah. And so it, it it trial and error took a lot of time, but my goodness, um, I am a true meditator now, and I can say that because it is a part of my daily yes. practice because it is the silence. Even sometimes with a guided meditation, they get too busy for me. Right. You know, it's, I'd be like, shut up. Would you, yeah, but, <laughs> you've been talking for more than five minutes. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, look, let me ask you this because I think we're in a really powerful time that's, that's happening right now. As a minister, as a, a, a spiritual guide, as someone that um, I feel from you that you have made a decision to inspire relationships, Absolutely. Absolutely. inspire a, a higher consciousness of living. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you feel is the church's role in that now? So our center's role, as far as I'm, cons- I'm, I'm concerned, because you get all walks of life, Correct. right? Because we are an inclusive spiritual, love that. right? And love versus that. religious and religions kind yes. of thing. And so to me, our role is to get people to understand that they're much more than what they think they are. Mm-hmm. That God is not out there. <laughs> and you've got to I beg and beseech, you. right? <laughs> it's not about that at all. It's not the, right, it's not the man in the sky, all of that. Right. To get them to expand their consciousness around what spirit, what God actually is, Mm -hmm. and that they come from this amazing, perfect source, Mm -hmm. right? That they are actually that, right? Now, with knowing that, now you got to look at all them bad habits you've developed from being on the (laughs) the planet, right? And to very slowly and with ease, well, I don't know how much ease, but to really become consciously aware of how the negative thinking, the negative talk, the negative beliefs, the limiting beliefs, 
have impacted their lives. And yes. so we, we have, of course, we have Sunday services and all that, but oh, we cool. also have the classes. Oh, excellent. Yes, absolutely. That start to teach people to start to do this inner, do the, look at you. <laughs> oh, that reflective mirror. <laughs> what? That can't be me. <laughs> and also to become the observer to mm. yourself. Mm-hmm. When you become the observer yeah. to yourself, now you can start to let go of the habits that don't serve you. Yeah. Because now you can see them. You can. Um, it, it's, I don't say it's always easy no. to go to be reflective and to take ownership. For me, it's about really taking there ownership for everything. Yes. For, and <laughs> say the word again. What's that last word? Everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even when it don't look like it's me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'd be like, it's really you. (laughs) But what I've come to understand in my own walk and my own practice is that things that I'm calling forth, maybe not consciously at first, that I'm ready to release, I have the opportunity of bringing situations into my life. That's true. That help me with that. Thank y'all. (laughs) <laughs> and so we teach a lot of spiritual tools mm. to help do that because people will hear bring forth something how do I do that right right so within our center we teach we have many tools to help people to learn how to to manifest you know you know everybody wants to manifest of course give no. me that car <laughs> give me a million bucks hey <laughs> And that is great. It's fantastic. And there's so much more. There, it is. It really it's, is. As we know the people who are, we know, we know millionaires who are absolutely miserable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we know people who don't have a dime to their name. And, and they miserable, miserable right? too. <laughs> but to be able to teach how to balance life and so to understand the manifestation phase, as uh, Michael Beckwith says, right, is, is like level two. Yeah. But there's so much more. You're actually here not to just get. Right. 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 So we're here to actually release an energy, release mm. the love. And yeah. And in that, because the, the nature of the universe is reciprocal in that releasing, then things come, but not because you're trying to make them happen. Now, I like that you said that, that you brought up energy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think personally that more centers, more churches ought to be talking about energy. Oh, yeah. You know, um, words have energy, there's vibration in everything, and really starting to connect our energy that we are utilizing daily. Correct. Daily. Well, we're talking the the centers, or at least Centers for Spiritual Living Centers, (laughs) some of the centers, some of the spiritual centers, are really starting to really understand and grasp this idea of quantum physics. Mm, Right? Powerful. Yeah. Um, And so we no longer believe that, you know, things just are even though they look like they're solid yes. right we really get that everything is energy and so you want to start to apply the knowledge in a way that is practical in our livingness as human beings okay. on the planet okay so it is what you said it is the words we use yes it is even the words you use in your head <laughs> now that's really powerful in your head <laughs> cuz a lot of us are using that more than we're saying one thing but what's going on in here whole nother story two different stories and what what people usually don't understand is that this universal energy this thing that we call universe this thing that we call god does not respond to the fact that you say something that's not how what's happening you don't you're not calling forth something just because you're saying something you're calling forth something because of what is you actually are holding and believing in here and that's how it responds it corresponds to what you're holding you know i mean for whomever out there, whatever you believe in, if it's working for you, because I believe that there's a multitude of ways oh, gotcha. to recognize Many the divine presence. The yeah. But one of the things that I would just caution people, when you turn infinite intelligence into a person mm. that's judging you, that's making you right, making you wrong, Oh, you're not feeling well. Let me see if I'll heal you. You know, (laughs) let's see how I feel today. (laughs) And to me, some of that is just old paradigm thinking. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Old paradigm thinking. This is how we've learned to think. And I'm not so sure people, I'm not so sure everyone understands that we have learned how to think. We didn't come in the world thinking crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> Those are habits that got formed in childhood and we haven't um, been conscious enough to recognize that our thinking are, are, is in patterns. Yes. And we need to look at the patterns 
Look and break that. some of <laughs> Break, break, break. Yeah, really important. Break. In That's, order to live a really fulfilling life, you do get to do that. I, I love that you said that. I mean, um, patterns are a big part of everyone's life. Absolutely. And so much so that sometimes we don't even realize that it is a pattern. We go, oh, it's just the way I am. No, not no, no, true. No. <laughs> <laughs> not true. Oh, not true. I hear that and I'm like, I. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, too lazy? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have bought into that. It's not who you are. It's not who you are. <laughs> Especially if it is one that is causing you pain and suffering and for you to self doubt yourself. So, well, let me ask you this. Where do you see yourself, your community? Where do you see yourself going? Great question. So we are and we are starting to put some things together. Our music, we've got a new music program oh, director, nice. all of that nice, going on. Nice, oh, nice. It's just fabulous. Hopefully they'll invite me <laughs> one day. You know, I'm, I'm, uh-huh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Put you in that list. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So that's new. And so we are ex- we want to expand our classes. The world is online, so we are um, putting in a new educational system, computer system kind Beautiful. of thing to start tracking things so that we can start to give classes online. I love it. So the so 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 we want to expand our social media presence so that. that people can tap in instead of thinking just the Las Vegas area exactly. community. Exactly. Yeah. I I think any spiritual community that really wants to be present in the future you have to have an online have to presence. have online at this point yeah. because you can reach so many people and you know people talk about the millennials they don't want to go to church and blah 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 um, I've talked to many of them and you know not all but just with anything our technology is very much a part of our living we've got to definitely got to just get with it i love technology i don't understand all of it oh i know it's large. <laughs> yeah but i love it i love what it's possible to do yes and sure people can take anything and misuse it but what's at hand here is that you now are reaching the world that's the intention so i used to I, it's funny so th- two three years ago whatever it was used to be, we don't want people taking videos of the whole thing and spreading. And now it's like, <laughs> get your cameras <laughs> out. <laughs> get your cameras out and move it. Because yeah. like this month we are in, um, I call it the revolution. That's the, oh. the theme of the month is the revolution. Okay. We're talking about forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Because what I realize in these relationships and all that, <clears throat> forgiveness is this piece that it's hard for people. And I find that fascinating. And there's layers yeah. to forgiveness and many times you think you've forgiven someone and then something happens and you don't know why you're knee-jerking over here to someone else yeah it's because of the person who hurt you you haven't 100 percent released and let that go so it's you're taking it out on now this new person that you're dating or your kids or whatever it is right right so we are dealing with that <laughs> <laughs> it, it, so it's, it's funny that you would mention forgiveness i'm doing um, a study on emma curtis hopkins okay and in her high mysticism oh, we're on yeah. chapter three and it's on forgiveness <laughs> and so i told my study partner i was like i don't have anybody to forgive <laughs> Why does everybody laugh at that? Because <laughs> we, we all do. Yep. But people say that. They say that. No, yeah. I'm good. I don't have to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. mm. <laughs> She laughed so hard. I was like, well, maybe I should like really <laughs> take a look into it. <laughs> because, it's, because there's pieces that are so subtle. They're underneath. And so, yeah. Stuff started coming it up. Just, I was like, oh. Maybe I do have a little something, something with them. And, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> well, here's how you, here's one of the ways you know, and this happened to me a few months ago. Someone mentioned someone's name who I used to have an issue with, but I've forgiven that person. You're right. But when they mentioned their name, I was, I didn't feel anything in here. However, uh oh. I noticed I was holding back, which is a good thing because I don't want to talk about the person. Right, right. But I'm holding back, but in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, you don't want to deal with that person. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I was looking at that, and sure enough, even I could feel there is still something there. We're not 100% yet. And, and I thought, now wait a minute. I caught that. What about those who aren't catching that? Exactly. Because you're doing the work. Be- well, that's you true. You do the work. That's true. You do and the I, work. So I, I didn't badmouth, because I'm not interested in badmouthing. Right. But I noticed what was 
a little bit of something going on here yeah. in my in my brain. I know what you're talking about because when it came up to me, I was like, "Oh, you know what? I, I could be thinking of them in a black man." Right, right. <laughs> they still, they still should support us. They still owe me or whatever, right? They should. You they know what? Should. They should do. But they should. Right. The fact that they should do something tells you that you haven't quite. Yeah, you're not yeah, absolutely, yet. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's so powerful that you are working with relationships because we use relationships in everything. All the time. Everywhere. Work relationship, you name it. Everything. Our lives are around that. Um, <laughs> when we're off camera, you were telling a story about people being out of grocery stores <laughs> and, and places. And it, it, it brought to mind to yes. me, uh, it was a mother and uh, her son. And there were uh, two different, and it was a white family mm -hmm. and a black family mm -hmm. and we were at the airport and the little boy the black family every time the little boy asked something the mother was boy I'm trying to see I'm trying and, exactly. little bit, and, little bit. and so here was the white mother with her son well baby we're gonna go here and we're gonna do this and just the two differences of how it was addressed and not making one wrong or right, but understanding that one child starts to understand that questions are okay, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. other does not. Correct. And that's well, I don't know how you were raised. Well, uh, uh, I had a little I some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't be asking my mom a whole lot of questions. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. But no. certain things, though, which were interesting about sex, my mother was very, very open with me. Oh, my gosh. Very seriously? early on. Yes. We talked wow. about very, very early on. Um, I, I was very clear. I could ask her any question about mm. that. Yeah. Um, and so could my brother. Mm -hmm. So could my brother. Uh, so that was really, that was, that was her thing because she couldn't ask. Right. Her mom. That's why I my do grandmother, with grandmother. My children, they could ask me anything. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Because as a matter of fact, I had a, we have a, had an, I had a niece, meaning it was a past marriage, right? Okay. And she would come over and she said, Auntie, how come when we get to the dinner table, a lot of times the, the conversation is about sex. <laughs> and I told her, I said, because I know you guys are having these conversations out there, and you need to feel safe that you can have them at home. Isn't that beautiful? She goes, but it happens a lot. And I said, because you're a girl, and they're boys, and y'all need to understand home. <laughs> and it's very different. And so let's talk about this, yeah. right? But just like you, the reason um, Marquita's motivation, as far as the relationship stuff really started, was because I had the experience in the store. Mm. And I watched a mother berate her child, and I thought, this has got to stop. Yeah. And she, of course, loves the child. Of but, course. But it's just the way that we've been taught to to talk to our children. To communicate. We call it communication. And yes, we do. <laughs> we're, ta we're taking care of our children. That's no, what we're doing. doing. <laughs> we're yelling at them and calling them names, but we're right. right. And I thought, it's only because she doesn't know that there's a whole other way to live. And then I have people who say, you know, I want a boyfriend. I want this. And I'm listening to how they're dealing with their children. I'm like, that is not going to be happening. You're going you're gonna to attract the man for a little while, yeah. but oh, he's still going to be gone. Because you, you're so used to talking down to the people who you care about. So it's, um, I just I just want to help that That's go, really, dissolve and go away. I, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. So do you accept clients from everywhere? Is there? A, oh, yeah. Okay. Because we can so, do things by phone. I love by, that. You know, there's technology. Technology. Zoom. I mean, I that's what Zoom. we do, right? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Awesome. So we'll have that, that information if you feel that you want to reach out, you want to check in and see how you're relating. I, I, I think at one of the core, because I've had to learn a lot about communicating, um, <clears throat> what I thought sometimes was communication uh -huh. was really bar barking out <laughs> our orders. And, right, but right. then I also learned that I didn't have good communication with myself. Okay, that's true. Yeah. You know. Well, yes. You, you know, that... Um, if something didn't work right for me, what what I'd have going on in here? That's how you berate yourself. Ooh, good yeah. boogity boogity. Yeah. That, that person would not be a friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just so you know, so one of the things, because this has been such a, a passion for mine, yes. I have developed, it's going to be online here um, soon, a, a relationship course. Oh, that's because, fantastic. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's, you know, there's forgiveness, there's all that, because... I can't reach everybody with just Marquita. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we still have some, a little bit more filming to do and some things around it, but that'll be coming out soon. Oh, that's really? awesome. And just if people will just go through it. Yeah. Um, so to learn some of the techniques, some of the skills, and there's lots of stories, of course, to see 
to awaken the self to, ooh, there's another way to relate I to myself because it starts here. Yes. And then to anyone else. Ooh, I love yeah, that. That's really important. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That's really I'm ask you in closing. Okay. What are your three passions? Okay. What 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 gets you get your juices going, get you going, get you up in the morning, get you ready for another day? Definitely um, the the reason I have the spiritual center yes. is because I'm a public speaker. Mm. Right? <clears throat> but public speaking isn't the thing, isn't the juice. Okay. The juice is because of meditation, when I'm sitting still, what flows up to help people expand in consciousness? Mm. That is my passion. Okay, mm. so I get relationships is over here. Yes. But when you look at the whole thing of who I am and what I do, I am about helping people to expand consciousness, their awareness about themselves and their world. That's it's so important to me because as we learn this piece here yes. and, and let go of that which doesn't serve us and yes. take on and embrace the power that is within, we have more to serve, more to give, more to love, and now we're changing our world. Mm. Okay, so that's a really important one. I would say the second one is singing. I love to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I love beautiful to sing. Voice, beautiful right? voice. Love to sing. Um, and my third passion is absolutely my family. Mm. I am, Gino. I am so blessed with an amazing family. My children are off the chain. I love they're, it. They're, they're awake. Well, they're you know conscious, she's a mama, right? But you know, but that's wonderful. No, <laughs> that's just, they're conscious and they're awake. I love and that. And so it's not just your. Typical children. Now, the problem with that is sometimes they have a hard time finding the mate because the mate is the regular consciousness. <laughs> right? But they are amazing. And then um, my my husband. Aww. Oh, honey. <laughs> and so what I tell people is, you understand, every single, we talk about this, right? Every single relationship you learn from. Yeah. And when you do, then when you go to pick your, what they call soulmate, which I'm not really into the soulmate right, thing. Right, right. But what are I you out there? I hear crickets. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Wait. <laughs> You're talking about your beloved. My beloved. Because what I realized, because of each one, because I learned, I was very careful. So when I went into this particular relationship, into this particular marriage, honey, that was a whole other person back there. <laughs> you know, I know the communication techniques. I know the things to, so that I don't take things personally, so that... So we have this amazing love relationship. And so that's, I would say that was definitely my other passion. She's all glowing, isn't it? Because, because I'm just glass. <laughs> he's, he's amazing. So, you know, yeah. I love it. I think that's so beautiful. You know, it's beautiful to see a woman and a man share that light when you see that love. Um, you know, I'm praying. No. Wait. <laughs> And so shall it be. And so shall it be. Dog on it. So uh, we'll have to sing our song before we close out. But I, I also want to commend you uh, because parents love their children. Mm -hmm. But not, not all parents like their children. Oh, no, I like my children. <laughs> and I can tell my, that. My I mom, could yeah. tell, yeah, I could yeah. tell. My mama, my, my mama loved me and she liked me. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really beautiful for because we are individuals yeah and you know some parents you see them they're like mm, i gotta love them but i ain't got to like them <laughs> you know i think the difference there really quickly is i'm very clear every relationship yes is for my growth mm. so they weren't just my children yeah. they're my teachers mm. i was very clear about them I'm like oh i don't like what you're teaching me right now <laughs> <laughs> now see that's a that's a powerful <laughs> point because they, they are. are. They are. They are. You know, and sometimes I wish I could throw you away right now because I don't like this lesson. <laughs> I don't like this lesson. But I really see, I also believe they were my foundation to starting the spiritual center. Really? Because I have, so I have three that are from my body. Okay. Right? And then I have four others that I raised. Oh, how beautiful. So and every single one of them are extremely different. And now when I got the spiritual center, I have learned so much. Hmm. So all these seven different personalities. Seven. <laughs> you know, seven. so, so. Seven. So all these different personalities totally grew me. Wow. And wow. so I credit them with that. That's because, you know, um, I, I, I'm blessed to travel to a lot of spiritual centers. And I do know that being the founder and the, the head 
uh, there's a lot of personalities that you got to be mixing oh, in. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody like to use the umbrella. Well, it's all God. But no, not well, all God. <laughs> <laughs> it may be all God, but this show is coming down in some different ways, right? God ain't telling you to do it. <laughs> yeah. And I do like that um, you can laugh at yourself, you can laugh at life. People sometimes it put themselves in a box, you know, uh, ministers, uh, congregants put their ministers in yeah, a box. They do. They do. These are people, human beings. 100%. You know, 100%. you have practiced and studied to help grow, as you so eloquently said, consciousness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That doesn't mean that your journey over. I'm a servant leader, mm. okay? So I get that people put ministers on a pedestal. Yes. And I'm forever telling my community, look, I'm gonna fall. You put me up there, I'm gonna fall. That's a guarantee, okay? You are me. I just happen to have a particular course of study. I just happen to decide to apply it. Yes. The, the, the teachings, right, yes. uh, of science mind in my life. And so I have this amazing life because of it, mm -hmm. right? That's that. I was you. <laughs> you people would not know. Oh, it was not pretty. <laughs> but that's what that's what gives birth. Yes. Because you went through it. You 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 had living. I think you know when you can live what you believe. Yeah. That's powerful to me. And it's it's amazing the trials and tribulations, as they say, mm, that you go through. Mm. It, it can take you under, or it can absolutely build you up. It, it certainly can. It absolutely. And can. at moment to moment, we have choices. Every time. We have a choice. We have a choice. And just want you to know that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, what you, whatever you're involved in, here's an opportunity to grow your life, to expand your world, and to live from a space that you can live joyously. Yes. Tools. Yes. She's got great tools. So you wanna you wanna tap in. Tap in. Tune in, tap in, turn on. There All you right. go. <laughs> Let's sing our song out. Um We come come, together. We come together. We come together. We come together. We come together in the name of love. Say it again. We come together. Oh, yes, we do. We come together. We come together. We come